thanks for stopping by my channel today. It's Serena. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a simple DIY. It is the heated conditioning cap. So it's really simple to do and all you have to do after it's all sewn is grab a plastic shower cap, apply your deep conditioner, you heat this up in the microwave for about 10 seconds. You go in about 10 second increments until it's nice and warm. Be careful because you don't want it piping hot or anything like that. And then you place it on your head. So the measurements for the cap that I have on my website and that I talk you guys through on the tutorial, um, it's for kind of like a small cap. It fits me and you see I have all of this in there but feel free to make the cap larger if you need to and check out my website for additional written instructions so let's go ahead and get started with this cap okay for this diy you're going to need a threaded sewing machine a towel a yard of fabric scissors fabric tape and pins are optional if you want to pin everything together so you want to go ahead and start off by cutting your fabric into two triangles I first cut the towel, then use the towel as a guide for the second piece of fabric. On the right and the left side of the triangle, it measured about 23 inches, and then at the bottom it was around 34 inches, but feel free to add additional inches if you want a larger cap. Now we're gonna take both pieces of fabric and sew them together, making sure the pattern side is down. And we're going to make sure that we sew all around the perimeter and leave a one to two inch opening so that we can pull the fabric through and turn it right side out. Now that the perimeter is all sewn, it's time to turn it right side out. I went ahead and left that clip out because you guys do not need to see me struggling. So now that it's already right side out, we're gonna go ahead and sew the whole perimeter again. And then the opening, we're gonna tuck in that extra fabric and sew the seam right on top of that. Now moving on to the last step, go ahead and take your fabric and wrap it around your head, making sure that the top of the triangle is at the top, and you wanna go ahead and fold that down. This is gonna be a guide of where to sew next. And sew the right and left side of the cap. It's gonna make a hood, and that's where you're gonna put your head when it's time to do your deep conditioning. For this step, it's best to sew it where the towel is on the outside. That way you don't see any additional seams and it's nice and clean. you can go ahead and turn your cap right side out and you can get right to deep conditioning. Now that your cap is all nice and sewn, let's go ahead and try it out. So go ahead and apply your favorite deep conditioner. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our shower cap on. After you put your shower cap on, take your heated cap over to the sink, drench it in water, and wring out any excess. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and heat up our conditioning cap. So now that your conditioning cap is damp and warm, we're gonna said. go ahead and place it on her head. So just go ahead and put it on like this. I have a lot of hair, so we're getting all this hair in here. <laughs> And then we're just gonna go ahead and tie it up. So you just keep this on your head until your conditioning is finished. You're welcome to take it off in between and heat it up again if you would like. But once I heat it up the first time, it's perfect for me. It lasts normally the amount of time that I need it to for a deep condition. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out It's Trina on other socials, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, although I'm not really super active on Twitter and Snapchat, but I'm working on it. And um, check me out on my website, it's Trina.com. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.